The Los Angeles Haunted Hayride is back with its immersive Haunted Hayride and of course different haunted houses at its original location in Griffith Park. What's going on everyone and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. If you're new here, consider subscribing down below with those bell notifications on. Check out our website www.exploringattractions.com and you can find merch and social media all down below in the description. That's right everybody, the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride officially returns to Griffiths Park and there's lots of stuff to talk about in regards to the event so we're going to be breaking down everything that you can expect for the Hayride experience this year. First off, pre-sale tickets go on sale today, so at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, in a couple hours, they will go on sale, with general admission sales starting on Thursday, September 1st. Now, tickets do start at $39.99 for general admission. The event kicks off on Friday, September 23rd at Griffith Park. We all know the last couple years, it's been in different locations, one without it even being a, an actual haunted hayride, it being more of a drive through experience, as we all saw more drive through experiences started to come with what we all went through and then they transitioned into their general hayride fun except for it was at a different location it wasn't at Griffith Park no more now I think that Griffith Park is the perfect place to hold the Los Angeles haunted hayride I just think the scenery there and just the overall ambiance is a lot better so I can't wait for its return on Friday September 23rd now of course this event is put on by the 13th floor entertainment group and they are such a great group who puts on amazing haunt events throughout the entire country Country. They never disappoint, and obviously with the Haunted Hayride, they have created such a unique storyline to not only the Hayride alone, but the overall ambiance and entertainment around the event. The whole event is surrounded by the town square of Midnight Falls. It's the epicenter of the festivities. While guests walk around between attractions or hang out to soak in the atmosphere, you get it, you know, like fear, Various townsfolk from the Midnight Falls community roam the space interacting with guests and attending to their local business. I think that one of the coolest things about this event is those roaming characters. They are so interactive, they do such a great job at playing their character. And not only that, they also bring in the different characters roaming around into whatever they're interacting with with the guests. So one character could be talking about another character that's somewhere completely different, but then you could meet that same exact character that they're talking about 10 minutes down the way, which I think is awesome. They all stay true to the storyline and all surrounds Midnight Falls. I think that's one of the coolest things about the Hayride, in my personal opinion. You know, it's just something to make everything feel complete and make it all come together. So we have, of course, like I said, Midnight Falls, which is the epicenter of the festivities. And then we have the number one attraction, the Haunted Hayride itself. So within the foothills of Midnight Falls, the leaves turn brown and the veil between the living and the dead is at its thinnest. The Witch of the Woods has cast her spell to summon the spirits of the underworld to cross over. The hayride leads to a thrilling adventure of horrors afflicting the town. Dazed within the spell cast upon them, the witch commands her army of crops and flesh to seek revenge of the people that have casted her out. The spirit of Halloween comes to life surrounding the helpless victims brave enough to board the hayride. The haunted hayride that they put on every single year is absolutely amazing. The detail and the level of immersion that they have throughout this hayride experience is awesome. It's also quite long too. You all pile into a tractor and obviously there's hay on there and there's scare actors coming from different angles. Angles, scaring the living crap out of you. This experience is unlike no other and like I said the level of detail is amazing. So we know that this year is going to surround the story of the witch and she's essentially using the victims of the hayride to keep the spirit of Halloween alive which I really enjoy. The whole haunted hayride event really caters to vintage Halloween which I'm also a sucker for especially with their entry portal being a bunch of pumpkins and a bunch of vines growing over. That's always a staple at the hayride event. But of course on top of the hayride we also have three individual haunted houses or mazes one even being an interactive one and we are seeing the return of uh, two fan favorites in midnight mortuary evil earth dying to drum up more business than the local mortuary is hosting an open house where guests can tour the property to see what offerings await their demise guests separated from their tour risk becoming the next customer of the sinister funeral home so we saw this haunted house last year so it's making its a reimagined return they're obviously going to spruce up 
the maze. It's not going to be the exact same. They're going to add some twists and turns here and some special surprises that you aren't expecting. And then also returning is one that we've seen at the event many, many years now, and that's Trick or Treat. That's the interactive haunted house, which I'm a big sucker for this one. The neighborhood of Midnight Falls has sprung to life with the magic of Halloween. It's a different kind of Halloween, remarked the citizens of Midnight Falls. The mayor has announced, Monty's Midnight Show is weird. It's kooky. It's revolting. Yet outsiders continue to pour in to witness what yours ghoulie has brewed up. So with the Trick or Treat haunted house, it's obviously it's scary and there's different characters along the way, but you're actually going to each individual door, knocking on the door and trick or treating as if you were a kid. Of course, some of them have surprises to where a character jumps out at you but still hands you candy. Regardless, along this trail, you get candy, which is awesome because who doesn't love trick or treating when you're absolutely terrified? I mean, I know I didn't like that as a kid, but now as an adult, that is such a fun experience to do and it makes you somewhat feel like a kid again. This is definitely one of those things that you do not want to miss out on when attending the event. And of course, last but not least, we have Lauder House or Slaughterhouse with the S cross style. Now there's not a lot of news about this, but the event does promise on the official website that full details are coming very soon. So with three haunted houses and one elaborate haunted hayride, there's no reason why you shouldn't visit this amazing event this year. Like I said, with pre-sale tickets going on sale today, and you do get a little bit of a discount compared to buying them on September 1st when the general public gets access to tickets. So I highly recommend you check out that pre-sale today at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. The official website is really helpful to even have jobs posting on there because the hayride is hiring and they, it's an amazing place to work from what I've heard. And obviously on top of everything, you can expect Monty Revolta, the self-appointed mayor of Midnight Falls, with his highly anticipated nightly town square performances. We love Monty. He just brings so much entertainment to the event. So I highly recommend you check out his show while you're there as well. But everyone, like I said, the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride kicks off on Friday, September 23rd at Griffiths Park, California, and we cannot wait to attend. We'll definitely try to be there on opening night, filming everything for you guys and filming all the new and exciting experiences that you guys can expect while visiting the park. Hey, if you're excited about this, let me know down below in the comments section what you're excited about. Are you excited about the hayride? Are you excited about the different haunted houses? Let us know down below in the comments section. Anyways, everyone, as for today's video, my name is Scott. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here with those bell notifications on. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.